So we're talking about O1 Pro, $200 a month, and they're losing money. So the thing that we're referring to, this fascinating exploration of the test time compute space, is that actually possible? Do we have enough compute for that? Does the financials make sense? <laughs> so the fantastic thing is, and, and, and there, it's in the uh, thing that I sh- pulled up earlier, but uh, the tr- cost for uh, GPT-3 has plummeted. If you scroll up uh, just a few images, I think. The important thing about like, hey, is cost a limiting factor here, right? Like my, my, my view is that like, we'll have like really awesome intelligence before we have like AGI before we have it permeate throughout the economy. Um, and this is sort of why that reason is, right? GPT-3 was trained in what, 2020, 2021? Um, and the cost for running inference on it was $60, $70 per million tokens, right? Um, which is the cost per intelligence was ridiculous. Um, now, as we scaled forward two years, we've had a 1200X reduction in cost to achieve the same level of intelligence as GPT-3. So uh, the, here on the x-axis is time over just a couple of years, and on the y-axis is log scale dollars to uh, run inference on, yeah, on a million dollars, tokens. Yeah, a million. And so you have just uh, a down, like a linear decline on log scale uh, from GPT-3 through 3.5 to Llama. It's like five cents or something like that now, right? Which is which is versus yeah. versus $60, 1,200X. That's yeah. not the exact numbers, but it's 1,200X. I remember that number. Yeah. Is is the humongous is humongous cost per intelligence, right? Now, the freak out over DeepSeek is, oh my God, they made it so cheap. It's like, it, actually, if you look at this trend line, they're not below the trend line, first of all, and at least for <laughs> GPT-3, right? Uh, they are the first to hit it, right? Which is mm-hmm. which is a big deal. Um, but they're not below the trend line as far as GPT-3. Now we have GPT-4. What's going to happen with these reasoning capabilities, right? It's a mix of architectural innovations. It's a mix of better data, and it's going to be better training techniques and all of these different better inference systems, uh, better hardware, right? Uh, going from, you know each generation of GPU to new generations or ASICs, everything is going to co- t- take this cost curve down and down and down and down. And then can I go in, inst- can I just spawn a thousand different LLMs to create a task and then pick from one of them or, you know, whatever search search technique I want, a tree, Monte Carlo tree search, maybe it gets that complicated. Um, maybe it doesn't because it's too complicated to actually scale. Like who knows? A uh, bit lesson, right? Uh, the, the question is, is, I think when, not if, because the rate of progress is so fast, right? Um, nine months ago, Dario was saying, hey, or, you know, Dario said nine months ago, the cost to train and inference was this, right? Um, and now we're much better than this, right? Uh, and DeepSeek is much better than this. And and that cost curve for GPT-4, which was also roughly $60 per million tokens when it launched, has already fallen to, you know, $2 or so, right? And we're going to get it down to cents, probably, for GPT-4 quality and the same, and then G- that's that that's the base for uh, the reasoning models like O1 that we have today, and O1 Pro is spawning more multiple, right? And O3 and you know so on and so forth. These search techniques too expensive today, but they will get cheaper, and that's that's what's going to unlock the intelligence, right? 